When I was a young girl, my friend had a stud put in her nostril, and I thought she was mad. I said, mate, when you grow up, will you want that thing sticking out your nostril, though it don't look that bad. I had my nose pierced. Do you like it? I like it. I mean, obviously I like it. I had it stuck in my face. I would love to say this was a really well thought out decision which I've been pondering for weeks, possibly months. Uh, no. I had the idea at about 10 o'clock on Thursday night and by 10 o'clock on Friday morning I had a thing sticking out my nose. The whole thing was a little bit ridiculous. I was just trying to go to sleep and I couldn't go to sleep and then I found myself googling things like body piercing parlours in Oxford and where's the best and which has the best reviews and then I started google imaging ugly nose stud just in case someone had the exact same nose shape as me and then I tweeted saying I was tempted and people were tweeting back saying yeah go for it do it so I did it a little bit out of character for me um my family were rather surprised when I skyped home on Saturday afternoon like my sister still sort of refuses to think about it Though, to be fair, she does have a fear of needles. My mum was particularly funny because she was sort of trying not to insult me. Like, uh, she kept saying things like, It's not disgusting. And, I don't dislike it. And, it's not ugly. I mean, I applaud her use of negation. <laughs> it's always slightly nerve-wracking asking someone's opinion. And particularly so on the internet, I've decided because there's the possibility that everyone will just blank you. A couple of weeks ago, I was trying to write an article for a student newspaper. Shameless plug, link in the description. And I really couldn't come up with a title. So, I asked the internet. And if you asked just like a group of people in real life, you could sort of expect that even if no one had any idea, you'd get some sort of a response. Guys, I really don't know what to title this article. Any ideas? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you could use some sort of pun? If you tweet it or put up a text post on Tumblr though, you just risk this happening. Guys, I really have no idea what to title this article. Any ideas? Guys? Guys! And it's not even like you can pretend that you haven't seen it. It's like, you know when you get those emails and you really don't want to respond to them? And you sort of think, oh, I'll reply to it later and then you just don't. And then you meet that person in the street the next day and they're like, oh, hey, Meg, did you um, not get my email the other day? And the best response you can come up with is, oh, um, it must have disappeared, you know, into the ether. Right. Everyone in that situation knows that is a complete lie because emails don't disappear into the ether. It just doesn't happen anymore. It kind of makes me laugh when people on the internet claim not to be attention seeking because you definitely are. You're on the internet. You're posting things on a public forum. You are therefore looking for an audience. That's, that's the definition of the thing you are doing. Even if, like me, your Twitter feed is not particularly aimed at drawing in thousands of followers because it's mainly live tweeting your essays, you're still trying to be funny and you're still trying to be entertaining and you still want there to be someone reading those tweets and sort of going, oh, how ridiculous your life is, Meg. But such is the nature of Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr that they don't have to respond. So it's also preparing you for the disappointment of no one paying attention to you. Social networking. Character building since sometime between 2001 and 2004, because really, do you want to count friends during this? Uh, on a related note, I suppose I should say thank you for everyone's response to my last video. That was kind of nerve-wracking to put up. Um, I'm glad I did now because that's the best response I have ever got to anything ever, I think, possibly. And um, yeah, I've also just hit 200 subscribers, which, to be fair, I think at least three of them are my old collab channel. <laughs> I should really delete those. Anyway, um, thank you for watching and subscribing and all that malarkey. Um, basically, thank you for feeding my attention-seeking nature. And I will see you next time. I need some attention.